And the governor said today it is part of his job to rebuild trust in all three vaccines. And at the federal level, this news will affect whether Johnson & Johnson receives final regulatory approval. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn continues our 360 coverage side, explaining why you're getting these vaccines now without that final authorization. When it comes to COVID-19 vaccines, there's a difference between one that's FDA authorized and one that's FDA approved. Currently, the three vaccines on the market only have an emergency use authorization or an EUA. It's a much faster process. Consumer advocate Dr. Sidney Wolf says an EUA is a shortcut that allows drug makers to submit less safety data during an emergency. In this case, companies had to track volunteers for about two months after vaccination. But to get full approval, they'll need six months of data, the same standard the FDA has had for years. And that approval just might convince more people to get the vaccine. But I think that these concerns would be lessened if they were told, we now have six months of follow up on this vaccine, which means we're more comfortable with how long it lasts, how effective it is, and how safe it is. Both Pfizer and Moderna now have six months of data, meaning full approval could come by midsummer. This is significant for several reasons. Once the pandemic is no longer an official emergency, only fully approved products can stay on the market, and the FDA stamp of approval adds valuable credibility. Aside from what benefit for marketing it does in this country, it will clearly have an international benefit. There's also a lot of legal debate about whether companies or colleges can require people to get a vaccine that only has emergency authorization. That's not the same concern once the vaccine has full approval. In fact, many employers already require the flu vaccine. The status change could also impact vaccines still under development, and there are several. Federal law says companies can only get emergency authorization for their shot if there is no adequate approved or available alternative. There's a lot of vaccines still in the pipeline, and it may be harder for those ones that are early in development to eventually get EUA authorization if there is an approved option. To get new vaccines on the market on an emergency basis, companies would need to show their candidates are better at attacking variants or better for certain populations, like people with drug allergies. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.